This is what we're making. This is the final product. This was the drawing that inspired it. I'm using Photoshop. I'm using the pen tool. And I'm going to use this guy later in Character Animator to animate him. This video is a 10 to 15 minute preview of a full longer class I have on Skillshare. If you use the link in the description, sign up for Skillshare, you get two free months. I'm going to bring my doodle into Photoshop here and I'm going to resize it to fit my 2000 by 2000 pixel canvas. Rename it Doodle. So a few things about the pen tool before we start drawing. It's a difficult tool to get used to and it's even harder to explain how to use it. So I suggest messing around with it for a few minutes before you actually go drawing. It's something you have to learn through experience and you will get it eventually. You add points and you drag them out to create curved lines. The goal is to use as few points as possible. If you try to make a circle and you have say 24 po different points, that's not good. It can be done, a circle can be done in two to maybe four points. The fewer points, the better. Let's take a look at some of the settings of the pen tool. Here we can adjust the thickness of the line of the stroke. Here we can here we can adjust where the line is drawn. This draws it on the inside of the line. This draws it on, right on the line. And this draws it on the outside of the line. I think right on the line is best, so I'm going to choose that. This changes the caps on the ends of the lines. First is no cap at all. This is a round cap. This is a box cap. And I like the round cap, so I'm going to choose that. This changes the corners if you have a sharp angle. I don't have a sharp angle on this shape I made, so you won't see it. But I'm going to choose the rounded corners. And I'm going to set the stroke thickness at 10 pixels. You can give it a fill color or you can choose this for no fill. Now I want to talk about the keyboard shortcuts I'll be using. If you hit P on your keyboard, that brings up the pen tool. If you hit V, it will change to the selection tool. And it also deselects the shape that you just made with the pen tool. If you hit A, it will change to a different selection tool and will allow you to edit the points you made with the pen tool. Those are the three main keyboard shortcuts you need to know. I use more, but I, I will call them out as I'm doing them. Once you've got the basics of the pen tool down, let's go on to drawing the head and the face. Hold Alt and use the wheel on your mouse to zoom in. Hold spacebar to bring up this little hand and you can drag the canvas around. I mentioned it earlier, but I need to say it again. With the pen tool, as few points as possible. My head shape here, I'm only going to use four points. I'm going to change my stroke and fill color. Now I hit V to deselect the shape that I just drew. And I hit A to bring up this white selection tool and that lets you mess with the points and you can adjust the shape. So now I can drag points around and I can adjust the handles on each point and change how the shape looks. 
And this is why using as few points as possible is really important. It makes it easy to edit. Fill in my shape with some peachy skin tone. Since you can't see the doodle once you draw on it, it's best to move the doodle to the top of the document and then lower the opacity so you can see through it. Maybe 70%, 80%. That looks good. We need to rename our layers to keep it organized. I'm gonna call this head background. And I'm gonna use my own naming convention for right now. I'm naming them in a way that I know what they are. Later, we're gonna have to rename the layers and the folders so that Adobe Character Animator will recognize them. But just for right now, for this class, you can rename them in your own way. But you have to rename them. Don't leave them as shape layer. If you have 85 layers that are just called shape, you're gonna lose your mind at the end trying to figure it all out. Next, let's do the ear. Hit P for pen tool. Hit A to reselect so I can change to round caps. Next, I'm going to make the inner ear. Since this is an inner detail, I want the stroke to be a little bit thinner. So, four pixels is good. Hit A to reselect it and tweak it a bit. I'm going to make a folder called Ear Left. I'm calling it ear left because that's how Adobe Character Animator does it. So to us, the ear is on the right side, but looking at it from the character's perspective, it's, on, it's his left ear. It's a good habit to get into when making cartoons for Character Animator because that's how they do it in the program. Rename this ear outer and ear inner and put it in the folder. I want to move the ear a bit so I highlighted the folder and hold command and press T if you're on a Mac. It's control T on Windows. That puts me in transform mode and I'm gonna shift it over a bit with the arrow keys. I can hold shift to move it, shift it a little bit faster. Deselect by clicking the check mark up here. For the other ear, I'm gonna copy this one by highlighting and then dragging the folder down here to this plus icon. Rename the copy ear right, Command T or Control T. It's too slow to shift with the arrows. So I'm going to drag it with the mouse. And while I'm doing that, I'm holding shift. And that keeps it in a straight line. It won't let you move off that horizontal line. Now right click and choose flip horizontal. Let's set the doodle invisible for a second so we can see how it looks. I want to edit the head a little, so I select the head layer and I hit A. You don't have to follow the doodle exactly, it's just a rough guide. Feel free to tweak what looks off. Uh, sometimes what looks good on a doodle doesn't look good on the computer. That's it for the head outline. Next video, we will add the facial features.
starting with the nose. Adjust the stroke, the cap, and the fill. There is a way to make this the default so you don't have to change it every time. I'm sorry, in these videos I will be changing that a lot. I apologize. Something looks off about the nose. I don't really like it. Maybe it's too thick. No, that looks weird. Hold Command and hit Z to undo. Control Z on Windows. Let's group them together in a folder called Nose. I'll come back to the nose later and fix it. I don't like the look of it. Let's move on to the mouth. So if you have a shape layer highlighted and you hit P for the pen tool, then it will continue that shape on that layer. If you have a non-shape layer, like the doodle photo, when you hit P and start drawing, it will put it on a new layer. So that's what you see me struggling with here. And the same thing happened on the nose too. I'm trying to figure out why I don't like the nose. I think the nostril line is too big, maybe? Okay, that's better. I like that. Group the mouth in a folder called Mouth. Moving on to the eyes. Only four points for this eye. Hit A to edit. Make the fill white and name it eyeball left remember it's his left not my left make the pupil black fill no stroke name it pupil left and put these two layers in a folder called eye left On my doodle, there are eyelids on the eyes. I'm going to do that in a later class because those require working in Character Animator. I want to keep this class strictly to Photoshop. So for now, no eyelids. Those will come later. I'm going to copy that folder, rename it, and move it over. I'm going to make it a different shape because I don't like the look of the eyes being the same exact shape. I'm going to fix this little jagged part here. Rename these layers. Maybe this eye is a little too small. Okay, that looks good. Now the eyebrow. I'm gonna use this light brown color. Hit A to fix it up a little bit. Rename it to Eyebrow Left. 
copy the eyebrow by dragging it onto the plus sign, rename it, and let's put them in a folder called eyebrows. Move the layer over, right click, and choose flip horizontal. Alright, he, uh, he looks good. He looks like a little baby, or uh, a really old man. Oh, first let's let's move the eyebrows layer down below the doodle. Okay. Um, in the next video, we will give him some hair.